Hello crafters, I'm Gabby, B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card which is called a pop-up block card. As you open it up you've got the three blocks there. When I first saw this my only question was will that stand up by itself? I wondered if this might be a bit top heavy but no it stands up really beautifully. Okay, Very easy to make, there's just obviously a lot of bits to this. The first one I made was this one, this is my trial one and obviously I've got all my layers on here whereas this one doesn't have the extra layer, it's just got the DS design series paper there um, and I've used the retired paper, this is a beautiful flight and airy that was available during celebration and what I did with this one, not only did I do all these extra layers, I also put the extra layers on the back there but going forward I wouldn't do that because it was a white background it was a waste plus the fact this makes it a really quite heavy card um, this one weighs 46 grams and this one weighs uh, 42 grams and 46 grams so it's quite a difference this one I didn't put the bit on the back um, so the measurements for both of these cards and the card that I'm going to do are all in the box below because this is a 7x5 inch card there I'm not doing um, C6 or the equivalent for um, the American letter size card stock but I will be doing the centimeters um, but the measurements I have done for each individual card because I think there's so much here it could get a bit confusing um, I certainly got very confused trying to do it so you will see that I've put them under each heading that one's called Flight and Airy Design Series Paper that's called Let's Go Fishing Design Series Paper which will be retiring on the 30th of April and the one I'm doing today is called Take to the Sky which is a new paper that's available which I just want to show you it's a masculine one and it's not often that I like the masculine offers that Stamping Up come with so this is one of the designs I'm using and that is reverse of that one there's that one and that I'm also using this there's those two those two. Another reason I like this set is because uh, I've shown you that one and then those two. Oh and I like the cloudy bits here as well. I think that's really nice. Um, yes, why I like this is because it uses two of the colours that will be re re uh, re retiring next year. Um, that's boho blue copper clay and normally it's very difficult to get a nice design series paper during the year that's going to end with the, any of the colours uh, retiring um, so that's great I'm really excited about that and this is a stamp set that goes with it which again that, to me that's a great masculine card um, stamp set and these are the dies you can get to go with it like that and you've also got these dies there so you can die cut that and that and then you can put them on top of each other you get that which you can put on here this I imagine is for the back of the plane I don't know so <laughs> I haven't used it um, you get the three aeroplanes that you can die cut and you've got the clouds so to me that was a really great bundle to have with the design series paper as well. The sentiment again is coming from Go To Greetings which is retiring on 30th of April but it will stay in my um, studio here with me because it is such an easy great go to stamp set. Um, other dies that I'm going to be using are retired dies um, and what I've used these for is for this bit here and these retired a long long time ago but if you've still got them and you use them the dies that I'm using are the what I call the straight cut 
and it's number three so it's one two three and the scalloped which again is number three yes one two three okay so there are all the bits we need. I have prepared so much in advance because this is um, there is a lot of work in here. Let me just get these here. And somebody did say that she found it very helpful to have the measurements written down on the here as well as in the box below. So you'll get them both now. So the basic white cardstock measures five by eleven inches, and this needs to be scored at. 2 inches and 4 inches so that is the way the card's going to be going and then you need in fact let me put these pieces together so you can see how it's all going and then some copper clay which I'm describing as a middle front layer and this is 4 and 3 quarter inches by 6 and 3 quarter inches so that will be going on there let's take these off as I go and then you may need a piece of designer series paper that's going on there which measures four and five eighths inches by six and five eighths inches and then you need two panels both of these measure the same size and they measure and I haven't written it down good job I've got my book here um, so these two uh, left panels they are one and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. I'll repeat that in case you're taking notes from here. One and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. And then for the first block, you need a piece that's three and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And then you need to score it at one and a half, three and a half, and five. So that's going to be the block there and for here you need two pieces of designer series paper panel one is one and three quarter inches by three inches panel two is one and a quarter inches by three inches so they will be going like that and then for block two sorry this measures two and a half inches by four and a half inches and this gets scored at one inch, three inches, and four inches. And then you need two pieces of DSP. And panel one measures one and three quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. And panel two is three quarters of an inch by two, two and a quarter inches. And then for block three, this needs to be one and a half inches by three and a half inches. And this is scored at half an inch, two and a half inches, and three inches. And then the panels for this, for panel one, you need a piece that's one and three quarter inches by one and a quarter inches. And one for panel two, which measures three quarters of an inch by one and a quarter inch so that tiny tiny piece there and that piece there and then for the sentiment you need basic white which measures three and three quarter inches by one and one eighth inches and then copper clay three and seven eighths inches by one and a quarter inches. I did this bit ahead of time because I didn't want to have to take my time worrying, fussing about getting the um, uh, sentiment straight. I did do it one go, uh, but chances are I wouldn't have done that had I tried doing it um, on the screen. The other thing I wanted to show you that I prepared ahead of time, those two cards I have done by fussy cutting out of the designer series paper and for this one I have done the same, that's been fussy cut and that has been fussy cut. So I'm planning to use these 
but just in case I have also stamped and die cut these planes. Okay, I've done two of the big ones and one, uh, several of the little ones. Okay, I will probably use the ones that are already done like this. That I might change my mind. So first of all, and also I'm trying to use this again because I think it is quicker. line this on here and that maybe slightly out have I pressed it down too hard maybe not see all is not lost with the tape there we go, that's better. Right, I'm happy with that. Now what we're going to do first is build this card. So I'm going to take this and put it onto my copper clay. Make sure that's all ready to go. I don't know if I have told you this last week, but I did get a second bit of advice from somebody about using this uh, seal and the first advice was if it stops just put it on there but the second bit of advice was don't flick it as you come to the end because that gums up this end of it and it's true it does um, but equally it comes off nice and easily um, by just coming off straight okay so that's all right as you can see, I find it a bit difficult to concentrate and work at the same time. So let's do this one. This is at the near at the end, so I've got a new one sitting up on the shelf, and I suspect that may be why it's playing up a bit. Let's bring this one back. Because of the um, design of this, I'm not providing any kind of measurements for trying to do the smaller American cards or the um, A4 cardstock user cards. Um, I'm sure they're out there somewhere on YouTube. Somebody's probably done it. Although I'm using seal for this bit, I won't for when I put the blocks on. I will go back to Tombow for that. As you know, I do like my layers and I've given up here, but what I decided was if I could get a design series paper here that matched the colour of the underneath one, which this does beautifully. And even though this is incredibly sticky, it's still easy. You've still got time to get this down and straight before it becomes a problem. Right, now we're going to take... Oh, we've got to put all the bits on here. In fact, what I'm going to do while I'm doing this, because I know it's a bit boring watching, just bits being adhered, um, next month Stamping Up have got an um, absolutely amazing joining offer and the offer is that for the £99 or 129 euros that it costs to join I'm sorry I don't know the values um, in North America or Australia um, but you can also you get the you pay the 99 or 129 and oh there we go that's gone we go. um you will also receive four products in the new color ranges 
total value of those are £78.25 so plus your £130 we're talking uh, UK at the moment um, you would also get uh, your £130 so you finish up with £208 you get these five ink pads all the new colours a pack that's got I think it's four sheets of each colour I meant to check that up but I think it's four um, design series paper the 6x6 six six pack and also one each of the um, marker pens all that comes to £78.25 plus £130 so that's £208.25 all from £99 it's absolutely amazing and it doesn't matter whether you want to join as a hobbyist um, you're still entitled um, to sign up for that hobbyists join so they just enjoy the discount on the shopping um, so I would be absolutely delighted if anybody in the UK or in Europe if you'd like to join either contact me for more information or um, you can go online and join in fact there will be a link below below my video for you to join but whatever you do um, don't try joining before the 1st of May when the offer starts if you do you won't get the benefit of the extra goodies now in case you're wondering how this bit looks that's a tiny little bit at the end where you're using just the one layer and if you're using the two layers that's what that looks like. Definitely my favourite, that. I already know who these birthday cards are going to. The Flight and Airy one, that's going to my son's partner. And I'm not sure which one my son is going to get. Their birthdays are about um, seven days apart, I think and they're in May so I'm well ahead of myself this year which really makes a change after the last two years it has been a struggle for me trying to make cards because I didn't buy very much while I was going through my health issues but it, fortunately, it wasn't planned like this but fortunately I did buy design series paper that I could fussy cut to use as images even though I didn't have the stamp sets. Now pull this gently. Get this off because it wasn't very straight. Now you need to take it right off and set start again. Take your time, don't panic. Go down a little bit. Okay. Not brilliant, but that's okay. It's right at the back. Now, the fun bit of putting this card together, and this is where I'm going to... Oh, I need that Tombow. And this card should lay flat once you've done for some reason this one here it doesn't and I don't understand you see you can't push that right down so this is going to be we're going to find out two out of three so what's going to happen is we're going to put it in there put glue on it close that and then close that down not quite not quite let's do this one at a time normally what I do is I make one of these cards before I make the video but by the time I'd finished yesterday I just felt so tired and I have learnt to listen to my body if I am really tired then I do give up right now what I'm doing is I'm placing this so I've got the same sort of gap there as I have that end and I'm pushing that up towards that fold 
but I'm holding it carefully so that as that folds over if that crease wants to push this bit down it can do no it was quite happy so give that a good rub down and now we fold it over like this like this yep yeah, that's right okay so what you need to do is fold it over so on the block you can only see one side the other side is down there hiding so we're going to put glue on this one and then in fact on this one you can close that down okay so now this is tail oh okay right so what I did that wasn't going to close down properly so what I did was I just pressed it now let's see if it a perfect block there then we're okay very slightly in I'm not going to worry about that because it should fold down oh it's not going to fold down that way so I'll put it back again so the let's go fishing card must have been a fluke right Tombo will you let go so maybe it is right that it shouldn't Try that again, just put a little bit more on. Am I on screen? Yes. Just thinking. I can't have done that any closer, otherwise it wouldn't have closed. If anybody knows the logic of this, I'd be interested to know. I think it should close down, but that clearly wasn't happy. Now that looks like a much better box. You think so? I think so. Right, okay, I'm just going to get my bone folder to give that a little bit there. So I'm just going to go careful now. Right, the next one, I'm going to put glue on this side. It's always that half inch that goes on that side with the smaller panel. again I'm going to place that close I'm not going to go too close because I've used Tombow that will slide underneath if I do it too close so I'm just going to do it so that I can just about see shadows from underneath that's better Let's see if that's about the same as that I think so okay so we're going to close that one down Okay, so we're now going to put glue on this side. Let's put that in there just in case. It's because I can't actually push this one right the way down, it's a bit wobbly. And if I slip, I'd rather slip onto my silicon mat rather than my card. Okay, so that needs to be brought over like that. Okay, so that's going well. Pleased with that. So now we've got the last one. So half an inch at that end. Okay, you got the same there, but it's half an inch and the narrow panel on your right hand side. So do this end. Again, when you put this up against here, So adhere these down, you could use tear and tape, but I haven't done that because I'd have to put the tape on, 
take the covers off, put it down, and I just felt they would take too long. And as you know, I do like Tombow. So that looks about the same as that, I think. And I can just about see through underneath there. Close up the gap a bit. Yep, okay, oops. Yep, that's about it. And then bring this over. Give that a chance to adhere. And then open up and fold the last two back. The fact that this doesn't open up all the way there doesn't affect the way it closes to go into a 7x5 envelope. I know a lot of you do prefer to make 7x5, so this is special for you. Right, now we've got the two. We're going to fold them over, bring this back, and that should go very close to the end there. Not totally straight, is it? Oh, it is now. That's good. Well done, Tombo. Okay, so there are all our panels. That one's a bit bent because I've had to tear that, or at least pull the top off. But I'm sure it'd be all right once it's been folded into a an envelope. So there we go. That's that. Now I've got these two, and I'd hear this one on here. And I make it so that it levels up on this one. So when the card is closed, you can't actually see that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just having a look at my card there. Put my fingernails there so that I can measure how much that is. It should be about an inch. Yes. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm just going to put a Tombow on this inch here. position that there and with this hand I'm pushing that down so it's all nice and flat push that one on top I think those two must be about the same width same length okay so hold it all down make that adhere down oh, I've got some lines there which hopefully will help me get it straight Okay, and then what did I? Oh, yes, I did this one on here and did it so that once this closed, you could still see the happy birthday. So, again, I'm going to put my fingernails there and there. Just watching as I'm flipping that over. So I'm going to put glue on this side. Once I get that straight line then it doesn't matter if it moves. Well, I'm, in a way, I'm glad that I've used things that I've done fussy cutting with because it shows the versatility of our paper. It's not just, you don't have to buy stamp sets to go with them. I don't recommend not buying stamp sets because, as I say, I have found this a bit of a struggle. Okay, so there we go. Beautiful masculine card. So my final bit is to put this one on the back. If 
but I'm going to put it that side because that's the way the plane is going. There we go. That's today's card. Nice fancy fold, easy, but there are just lots of bits to it. And mine is different because I've put the end panels on, which I think just finishes it off nicely. And nice clear black, fairly light background rather, so the white bits there are less obvious. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that video. Don't forget about our join-in offer, which starts on 1st of May. Um, let me see if I can get all these on for you. Probably not. Oh yes, maybe. So if you would like to purchase anything that I featured here today, don't forget there are items that are retiring on the 1st of, no, 30th of April. Um, this paper has already retired, I'm afraid, but that was my first experimental card. But if you'd like to purchase anything from me, my 24-7 online stamping up shop, there's a link in the box below. If you're shopping during April, this is the hostess code you need to place to enter when you're placing your order. And that way when I send you a happy mail, which includes a handmade thank you card from me and an envelope, the card will be, I won't be writing in the card so that you'll have a card and envelope that you can use. There'll also be a thank you gift for your handmade thank you gift. And if you've used that code, there'll be um, free product also. I know that this video is probably going live on the 28th of April so I will put the May code once I've got it below the video so you can still get the thing, the hostess gift. But there we go. Many thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope you also subscribe to my YouTube channel as well by clicking on the subscribe button and then also uh, clicking on the bell that way you'll get an email each time I upload a new uh, video. Many thanks for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I look forward to seeing you again next time. In the meantime, happy crafting. Take care. Cheerio.